Welcome friends, in this one, let's take a look at finding this limit as x approaches 0 of sine of 2x over sine of 3x. First stage in the process is to rewrite this the limit as x approaches here 0, and then break it up. So it's going to be sine of 2x divided by 1 times 1 over sine of 3x, this way. Now from here, we have to review a basic limit rule, a couple of basic ones. So the limit as x approaches here is 0 of something of the following form. Take a look. Sine of an expression divided by that same expression, this is equal to 1. You see, and I meant to say expression here, not the <laughs> that, okay? <laughs> Come on, expression. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so that's equal to 1. Equivalently, the following is also true. The limit as x approaches here is 0 of the following. Okay, so it's going to be an expression in the top and a sign of the same expression on the bottom that's also equal to 1. See, so I get the spelling right this time. <laughs> I go back to the top and our limit will be written as x approaches here 0. And then I'm going to say the following. Sine of 2x divided by x. It seems like I'm just arbitrarily, for no good reason, introducing x. But hold on. Because it's going to be the following after that. Take a look. I'm going to put an x up here over sine of 3x. And that's allowed now. The reason is the following. You see this red x in the bottom. And then that x, the greenish one, together divided, they form the number 1. So all you're doing is just multiplying by a form of the number 1, which is always allowed. Think back to basic grade school. You learned how to write equivalent fractions, same principles being used here. It just seems fancier than it actually is. That's not enough. You see, if our rules say that I need a sine of an expression over the same expression. Right now I have sine of 2x over just x. I'm missing a 2, you see. I can correct for that by, again, multiplying by a form of the number 1. So I'm going to put a 2 in that position. And also, for that reason, next to the x in the bottom, I'm going to put a 2. Because 2 divided by 2 is 1. Same thing over here with this one, with that greenish x. Right now, I have x over sine 3x. But the limit is, has to be so that the expression in the top is the same as the one that goes into the sine function. I don't have that, so I'm going to put a 3 in that position. But to compensate, I also have to put a 3 in this position right here. Look carefully right there. Now, remember that 3 divided by 3 is just 1. What we really have done is just multiplied everything by 1. In other words, we are making it look different to the eye. But we're not changing the underlying value. It's a kind of fundamental property that we often apply in mathematics. Now what we want to do is the following. Take a look at this 2. I'm going to highlight it in blue. And take a look at that 3 in blue also. I'm going to put those together as one fraction and pull it outside the limit. So it's going to look like this. Take a look. You're going to have two-thirds on the outside and the limit as x approaches here, zero. And what's left within there will be the following. So sine of 2x divided by x, well, 2 this way, times, and then from there it's going to be 3x divided by sine of 3x. There's a basic property of limits that we kind of learned in, you know, in our early days when we studied calculus at first which is when you have the limit of a product, you can distribute the limit to each factor in the product individually. So it's going to be two-thirds for that reason, and then it's going to be the limit as x approaches here is zero of the following. This piece by itself, and then times the limit as x approaches here is zero of that second piece by itself. Each of those is now known to be one. We already have that established, so it's going to be basically two-thirds times one times one, and therefore. <laughs> After all of this glorious struggle here, I'm going to have the following. <laughs> Two-thirds, and then this is the answer. So, please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've learned something. I'll see you in another video.